Dead or Alive Extreme 3 is the third entry in the series, and most people seem to forget that it's a volleyball game. Quick disclaimer to let you guys know that my capture card is kind of old, so I was only able to capture this in 720p. The actual game will run in full 1080p, so don't take this video as very representative of what it actually looks like. It really does look better than this, I promise. Obviously, I can't really cover this without mentioning the elephant in the room, and that is the fact that I had to import this game. And why did I have to import this game? Well, a bunch of people got their panties in a knot over this, and the developers decided that releasing the game in North America just wasn't worth it. The really mind-blowing thing about the whole situation is that the game is pretty... tame. Yeah, I know, there's copious amounts of skin and sexy poses going on, but so? I've seen racier movies on the CBC after 10pm. What's this? You can see her butt? Oh my god! It's almost like- Now bear with me, I know this is a crazy thought. It's almost as if this controversy was manufactured by the press as a way to generate fat stacks of cash. Uh, so this is a volleyball game, right? Well, yes and no. Volleyball is one of the core mechanics in the game, but there's a lot more to it than that. When you begin the game, you'll need to pick a girl to play as. There are nine characters present in this title, which actually leaves out a fair number of characters in the Dead or Alive series. Since the game is designed around a fairly limited roster, the developers held a poll in Japan to see who would be included, and these are the choices that the public made. This goes a long way in explaining why the very Asian characters are present while the more foreign ones like Lisa or Tina are absent. They're just not as popular in Japan. Also, poor old Leifang just missed the cut. Once you get into the game, you'll get a partner right off the bat. Unless you deny her, which is generally a bad idea right at the beginning of the game. Having a partner allows you to play volleyball, and if you forego one, you might have serious trouble getting another, so don't be dumb like me. Why won't you love me? While Extreme 3 follows the formula of the other games very closely, there are two new additions here, Owner Mode and Missions. Missions are optional, but completing them will earn you extra money and levels which will unlock better, see, skimpier bathing suits and items. It's a really small change, but I really like the addition of missions. It gave the game a bit more structure than it had before. Now, the missions are always simple things like go play poker or get a perfect in pool hopping. But I mean, this game is in freaking Dark Souls. Owner mode is essentially playing as the unseen owner of the island. Instead of interacting directly with the minigames or volleyball, you watch the computer play through them. You have the option to take photos during these sequences, and I have to say it's really hard to get good ones. The girls constantly move around, and the controls are a bit difficult to wrangle. Yep, I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Yeah, this isn't super thrilling stuff after you've already jerked off, but doing this allows you to gain money in your owner account, which you can use in the exclusive owner shop. Want that fancy white bathing suit the advertising used? Well, you're gonna have to get it through the owner shop. I'm not gonna lie to you, getting enough money to purchase stuff in this game will take a long time and can feel oddly grindy. If you're not getting that sexy string bikini without doing a lot of work. Yep, doing a lot of work in a game about a vacation on a tropical island. Makes sense to me. Owner mode also changes up one of the mechanics in the regular game, which is gift giving. Instead of gifting a girl and hoping she likes it and doesn't send it back to you that night, she will open it on the spot and decide if she wants to keep it or not. Why can't it always be this easy? I don't know. I guess they just really want to build up that stinging rejection. Moving on to the mini games. There's the usual ones like pool hopping, beach flags, that weird one where you hit the other girl with your butt. Oh yeah, sexy? The only new addition here seems to be rock climbing, which plays somewhat similarly to pool hopping. Doesn't this seem absurdly dangerous to you? Sadly, they removed the awesome jet ski racing from Extreme 2, and I'm not really sure why. Perhaps they spent too much time and money on the tans and wardrobe malfunctions. I mean, I'm not complaining about those. The girls becoming naturally tanned and having tan lines makes a hell of a lot more sense than it did when they remained pale forever. That coupled with breast physics that don't threaten to tear the fabric of reality makes us a lot more arrow and a lot less absurd. They even have very minor wardrobe malfunctions, such as a strap coming undone or the bottom shifting. Of course, it's not all amazingly nice looking. A lot of people have pointed out how messed up their ankles are, 
which is true, but there is one aspect that other people seem to miss, and that is the finger and toenails. Oh my god, what is wrong with your hands? Remember how I said this was a volleyball game? Well, it is, and it plays just as smoothly as it ever has. This is probably the best volleyball experience that you can have, and it kind of is one of the only ones. I guess volleyball isn't very popular in the world of video games because it's so simple. Just volley it back and forth and over and repeat ad nauseum. Then again, it's not like tennis is that much more complicated, so why does that have way more games based on it? The airy tunes paired with the beat setting make all the games have a very chill atmosphere to them. And it's really hard to get pissed off at this game, even if you lose horribly. All in all, Dead or Alive Extreme 3 is a fun experience, but it's really nothing new. The improvements in the graphics and the lack of the freakish breast physics from 2 make it worth playing, but only if this is your sort of game. And I don't just mean the titillating parts. If you're only here for the boobs, then this game is gonna wear out its welcome extremely quickly for you. If you like the series, then pick this up. If you're not sure if you like the series, to try it out at a friend's house, I guess? Uh, well, I must go. My beach waifu awaits. Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out my video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe for more. Also, check out all my social media accounts to see what I'm up to. And maybe hit up my Patreon to help me do this full time.